Hello and welcome to New Haven Display's 4.3 inch Arduino Shield tutorial. In this video, I'll be providing a brief overview of this new product line and demonstrating the simple steps to get connected and start developing with one of these shields. By the time this video is over, you'll understand why we call this product line Effortless Touch Development. New Haven Display's 4.3 inch Arduino shields are available in six different models. Each shield features a 480 by 272 resolution, 18-bit true color TFT display in the form of a sunlight readable, premium MVA, or standard LCD type. On each shield you will see which TFT display is attached by the check mark indicated here. The sunlight readable TFT displays the letter N. The premium MVA TFT is indicated by the letter V and the standard model which has an L at the end of the part number. In addition to these three different display types, there are two different touchscreen options to choose from. Projected capacitive with provision for five point touch detection or four wire resistive touch. Engineered in Elgin, Illinois, New Haven Display's 4.3 inch Arduino shields are specifically designed for the classic Arduinos such as the Uno, Mega, and Leonardo. The Arduino connects directly to the back of the shield and allows everything the shield requires such as power and the display signals. The NHD 4.3 CTP shield which is our capacitive touch model, features an FT801E or embedded video engine chip by FTDI. The NHD 4.3 RTP shield, which is our resistive touch model, features an FT800E or embedded video engine chip by FTDI. Each shield comes equipped with a micro SD card socket for additional storage capacity. They feature an onboard audio power amplifier and will also support mono audio output via an external 8 ohm 1 watt speaker. Each shield also includes an onboard LCD backlight LED driver and PWM or pulse width modulation output for display backlight dimming control. This design includes a built-in logic level shifting so you can use it with 3.3 volt or 5 volt logic levels. For today's demonstration, I'll be using a 4.3 inch capacitive Arduino shield. You can use this guide to apply it to any of these models. And if there are any deferring steps, I'll be sure to point them out along the way. You'll want to have a computer handy with internet access, the Arduino IDE installed, in this instance I am using version 1.0.6, and finally a compatible Arduino in order to follow along. I'll be using the Arduino Uno R3 in this guide. Let's get started. FTDI has an Arduino library with example code ready to go for New Haven Display's 4.3 inch Arduino shields. You will need to download the library first and install it. Open up your internet browser and navigate to github.com forward slash New Haven Display. Locate the appropriate Arduino library. The repos will be clearly labeled and list the full part number of your particular module. Since I'm using the 4.3 inch capacitive Arduino shield, I will be selecting the following link. If I were using the 4.3 inch resistive Arduino shield, I would select the following link instead. When you are on the project page, you can press the download zip button, which is located under the clone or download drop down. Click on that button and the browser will download the library to your computer. Now it's time to install the new library into the Arduino IDE. All of your Arduino libraries go into a special libraries directory so the Arduino IDE can find them. Locate the zip file we downloaded earlier. You will need to extract it. Place the FTDI library folder into your Arduino libraries folder. If you have the Arduino IDE open, be sure to reset it now. Next, we'll want to connect the shield to Arduino Uno and connect it to our computer via the USB port. Once you are all set up, you can now upload a collection of sample sketches. In this instance, we will demo an interactive keyboard sketch. Open the example sketch by navigating to File, Sketchbook, Libraries, FTDI FT801, FTNHD, 43 CTP Shield, Demos, and finally FT App Music. Click the Upload button, which looks like an arrow pointing right. You can now preview what is on the display and interact with the touchscreen. It should be easy to see how New Haven Display's 4.3 inch Arduino shields were designed to be simple, compact solutions for developing with touchscreen TFTs. Thanks for watching.